today is an OCHEM lecture, um, and just very basically, we're just going to go over naming. Okay? Um, so the first thing we need to know is just how many carbons. So we need to be able to count carbons, and we need to know their prefixes. Okay? Um, so I have 1 through 9. That's all we will need to know for the MCAT. Obviously, it can go more than 9, um, but in terms of the MCAT, we don't need to know past that. Okay? So 1 is methane, or sorry, 1 is meth, 2 is eth, 3 prop, but, pent, hex, hep, oct, and non, all right? And so those all are prefixes to the actual uh, parent compound, all right? So we're going to go over uh, all the ones that we'll need to know for the MCAT. There are more than this, but this is all we will need to know. So the first one's going to be alkane. Um, and the first thing that I want to talk about before that is um, always look at the ending. And if you're confused or if you don't remember um, what the ending is going to be, it's always going to be the ending of that parent compound. So alkane, the ending is going to be ane. Okay, so ending is going to be ain. So what do I mean by that? Okay, um, so for example, this one is a four carbon molecule. So it's going to be a but, the prefix is but, and the suffix is going to be ain. Okay, so butane, that's where I got the ain from. Okay, similarly to this one, this one is going to be similar, still going to be a butane, but it's also going to have an extra group, um, which is going to be methyl. Right, right, because it's a butane molecule right here. Add a little methyl group right there, um, so it's gonna be two methyl butane. Okay, so we should remember this from our OCHEM classes. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna be going over are just some very basic uh, common names of some of these substituents that we will need to know for the MCAT. Okay, um, so this is common names different from IUPAC names, uh, but they, we we will need to know them for the MCAT. So the first one's gonna be isopropyl, sec butyl and T or tert butyl. Right? You can see both of them on the MCAT. Right? Um, and so the next thing we're going to be talking about is cycloalkanes. Okay, so these are just cyclic, so it means they are attached. There's, it's it's going to be in a circle. Right? Um, so this one, still four carbons, so you remember um, the ending is going to be, or the, the, the prefix is going to be but. Okay? So but, and this is going to be cyclo and the suffix is going to be ane. Okay, so cyclobutane. Next, we're going to be talking about haloalkanes. Okay, so halo is from the halogens. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do for these ones, we're going to treat the halogens um, as substituents. So um, it's similar to like the methyl group that we saw previously. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is just name the main parent chain, um, which is going to be butane, which we've used um, throughout all the examples so far. Um, and then this is going to be, all we're going to be doing is changing the I-N-E to O. So remember fluorine, now it's going to be fluoro. o okay? That's all we did, so pretty simple. All right, next one we're going to be talking about is our alkenes. And remember when I mentioned before alkane, the suffix was A-N-E, this one's going to be E-N-E. Okay? Um, so what we're going to do here, uh, all we're going to do is, is name that, there's four carbons, so it's going to be a but. And then remember I said that the suffix is going to be in, so E-N-E. -E. But we have to know where it is because from this alone, um, it could be here, the double line would be here, here, or here. So we have to number similarly to a substituent, okay? And that's why it's number two. So one, two, three, four, so number two, okay? Now we're going to be looking at alkyne. Alkyne is just a triple bond. Um, and similarly to um, alkane and alkene, we have this alkyne. We're just going to change the ending to Y-N-E. Okay, so right here we have one carbon, two carbon, three carbon, four carbon. So it's still the same example, but, and then the ending is going to be y n e. Okay, and similarly to this one, we need to know where exactly it is because it could be the triple bond could be in the first carbon, second carbon, third carbon, etc. So it's going to be two butyne. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at alcohols. Um, alcohols are, are pretty common on the MCAT. Um, so similarly, uh, I can think we can treat them similar to haloalkanes, kind of like a substituent. Um, so alcohol has this ending OL. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to change the end, so like, like alkane, alkene, alkyne, change the end to OL. Okay? So we have four carbons, so it's going to be prefix of but. Um, and then we're going to have this N, and then we're going to add that OL. So butanol, um, it would similarly be pentenol, um, heptenol, stuff like that, okay? Um, 
But here, likewise, for all the other ones, we have to name what carbon is this coming off of, um, and this would be carbon number two, all right? So two butenol. So the next thing we're going to be doing is ketones, um, and so ketones, also known as carbonyl, um, they're going to have a double bond O, all right? So they're going to have this ending of O N E, all right? So similar to the alcohols, we're going to name them similarly. So carbons are three. So it's going to be prop, the prefix is going to be prop. Um, and remember it was propen and then own. Prop and known, okay? And likewise, we have to number where is it coming from. So it's going to be no carbon number two. Um, this one's pretty important. We need to know what is this called. And the name of this one, common name, common name is going to be acetone, okay? So two propanone is the same thing as acetone. They're equal to each other. Just one is the common name. Okay, so now aldehyde, um, it's going to have this H instead of one of those CH3 groups. So it's always going to be at the very end. Okay? That's why we won't even need to number it because we know it has to be carbon number one. It doesn't matter because it, it can't be anything else. Um, and aldehydes are going to have the ending AL. So this, is, this one's a little different. It didn't end in the same like O-N-E or O-L like the previous ones. Um, but what we're going to do is still the same thing. Number of carbons, two. So that's F, and then N, and then all ethanol, all okay? right? Um, and so that's pretty much all we need to know. Uh, a final one that we can throw out there is carboxylic acids. All okay, right, so carboxylic acid, uh, a fairly common one would be something like this. Um, and so carb carboxylic acid has an ending that's O-I-C, so, and then also the acid at the end, and so we'll see that. So this is two carbons, so prefix is F, and oic acid, okay? Do we need to number it? The answer is no, because this is always going to be at the very end, so it's always going to be carbon number one, okay? Um, ethanoic acid is also called acetic acid, so remember that, acetic acid equals ethanoic acid. Okay, right, so I, I showed you guys how to name very, very basic and simple compounds just to get their prefix and suffix down. Um, but now we need to know the rules to actually naming, okay? So naming more complicated molecules uh, like we'll see in the next example. So the, there's orders into how we will name these. There are many different ways to do this, but this is just the way that I like to do it, um, and it, it tends to work, um, and it's fairly simple, so we're going to go over that. So number one, find the longest carbon chain. You know, just find it um, and number it. You know, is it meth, eth, um, prop, but, stuff like that. How many carbons are in there? Okay. Then identify the substituents. Is there a, a, you know, halogens at the end? Is there going to be an alcohol, a methyl, whatever? Okay. So identify those and write them next to it. Okay. Now we're going to make the number of the carbon so they have the lowest priority. Okay. And what do I mean by that? For example, we saw in our previous example like this. We didn't name this three methyl butane. We numbered this two methyl butane. Um, and so with that, we know that. We want to number the carbon so they have the lowest priority of the substituents, the lowest numbering to the substituents, okay? So 2-methylbutane is going to be lower in number than 3-methylbutane, 2 versus 3, okay? So pretty simple. Um, and for this one, what I meant is di, tri, tetra. If we have something like this, we have two methyl groups uh, rather than just one. Um, and so we're going to name them uh, dimethyl and then butane, and that's going to be on carbon 2 and 3. So 2, 3, dimethyl, butane. Okay? So just group them together in that way. And then 5 is, if we have, for example, we, we identify the substituents, so say we identify that there was an alcohol, um, well now we're changing this ending from uh, a butane, now we want the correct one, which is butanol. So changing that ending to the actual substituent or the, the parent chain that it is, the suffix that it has behind it. Um, and the last one just alphabetize everything. So if you have methyl and fluoro as substituents, um, you're going to put F before M. So just a, a very basic example for what we're going to be doing. Um, so remember from the rules, what's the first one? Longest carbon chain. Okay? So we'll start from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? So that's going to be a hept. Um, and we'll just call this heptane for now um, because th that's what we're going to deal with. It makes it simple. Okay. Uh, the next rule was identify the substituents. Okay. So we have a methyl. We have another methyl. 
we have a bromo and there's also the alkene so the al the alkene will we'll put a star there we'll need to change that later all right now find the the numbering number the carbons in a particular way all right so we're going to number one two three four five six seven and there's a reason why i did that because if we numbered it from right to left, we would have the first uh, substituent being at number 3. In this case, we have the first substituent as being number 2. So number 2 is going to be less than number 3, so that's why we do left to right. But it doesn't always have to be left to right. A lot of times they'll invert the molecules on the actual test um, because a lot of people just tend to think, oh, I always read from left to right, let me just number it that way. So always be on the lookout for that. All right? So the next thing we're going to be doing is um, combining things. You know, di, tri, do we have any of those? And the answer is yes. So this will become dimethyl. All right. Um, and next thing we're going to be doing is uh, numbering. Okay. So did we number things? Okay. So let's let's number them. So the dimethyl is going to be five five. Okay. The bromo is going to be on number four, um, and the alkene is going to be on number two. Okay. So now we want to change the regular alkane now into the alkene. You know, change the suffix. Okay. So it's going to be hep and this is going to be 2 heptene all right um, and now we're gonna to have to alphabetize things and so bromo comes before methyl um, so that's why we're gonna be fro 4 bromo 5 5 dimethyl and then 2 heptene all right so just practice these there's gonna be a lot more um, than just this simple example on the MCAT you know a lot of different exceptions but you'll see those as you do more examples.